In our health alert tonight, can you stop a child from getting sick? New research found that a good chunk of parents have tried unproven folklore strategies in the hopes of preventing their children from catching the common cold, but do they actually work? Here to break down the facts versus fiction is Chief Health Editor Dr. Partha Nandy. So Dr. Nandy, what are the most popular strategies? Well, Heather, you've heard them. The first one I'm sure you've heard of from your mom is that don't go outside with your hair wet, young man, or you'll catch a cold. Other popular words of advice include includes taking lots of vitamin C and staying indoors during the winter. Now winter is certainly prime time for kids to catch colds and I get how parents are willing to try all kinds of things to keep their kids healthy. You know I'm a parent too and I, uh, two of my youngest have picked up their fair share of colds but it would be great if it was that easy to avoid colds but unfortunately those three strategies are just health care myths. Well vitamin C is often promoted to fight off colds so does science support that? Actually, other it does not. Scientific evidence does not back up the claims made, and these types of products have not been proven to prevent colds. So why is it that these manufacturers can make such bold claims? It's because the FDA does not regulate supplements and vitamins, so companies don't have to prove that their product actually works. It's amazing. All right, doctor, so a lot of people want to know this before they maybe do get a cold. What are some of the best strategies to prevent getting a cold? Found colds, as we know, are spread through germs, not because you have wet hair or you're outside. And I think being outdoors is very, very important. So go for a walk, build that snowman, get some exercise, as it can boost your immune system, which can fight off colds. I have other strategies, so here are my prescriptions. First of all, germs live on surfaces and are easily picked up by our hands. So please tell your kids not to put their hands in their mouths. And if they're thumb suckers, please work on breaking that habit. Secondly, Kids spend a lot of time in school, so make sure that they understand how important it is to wash their hands. And just using soap and water, if they can't do that, hand sanitizer may be a decent substitute. Also, colds can be spread through coughing and sneezing, as we know. Use a tissue or the crook of your elbow, as this helps prevent these mucus droplets from spreading. We showed here uh, on Channel 7 how far it can go. Uh, and lastly, your child should not share any of their utensils or drink with others, especially if they're sick. So if you follow the strategies, you should be okay and be able to go outside, even with wet hair. All right, thanks so much. That's great advice. For sure. And if you have a question or a health concern for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, at AskDrNandy.com, or you can send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. And folks, don't forget to tune in this Sunday for an all-new episode of The Dr. Nandy Show. He'll be sitting down with three fitness experts to discuss how people can tap into their best selves through purposeful movement. Again, that's this Sunday at noon.